Hey everyone, it has been forever since I made a video, I know, um, but I'm going to start kind of getting back into them, life's been kind of hectic crazy lately, um, but I want to get back on the bandwagon with them and get going, again I have a lot of great ideas, there's a lot of tags going around that I've been wanting to do, so um, yeah, look out for those, if there's any tags you've seen that you want me to do, let me know down below, um, and I will do them for you, because those are fun. Um, so, a couple reasons why I haven't been around. Um, one has been I haven't wanted to put too much effort into a video that was going to have really bad lighting and quality. Um, obviously right now the lighting and quality isn't amazing. Um, the lighting is better. I have two soft boxes staring me down right now. Um, obviously you can tell I still don't have it down quite right because I have some lovely shadow friends behind me, but we will work it out. Um, and I am filming on my laptop. Hopefully just this one last time. Um, I had my flip camera charging, but it died. Like, we won't even turn on. I don't know. It's going to have to go to the electronics heaven, whatever it does. Um, yeah, so I'm looking into getting a new camera. If you camera, 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 if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. Um, also, if you know of any good videos that talk about lighting, um, let me know that too. Or if you happen to be like, an amazing lighting expert and just want to message me and be like put your lights here that would be great I'd love that be bossy that'd be awesome um okay so what was I gonna say it's gone now let's talk about what this video is going to be about this is going to be about what I take with me um toiletry wise when I go on vacation my kind of essentials for that specific area. Um, I am traveling to Chicago in like uh, 12 hours and all I have packed are my toiletries and my makeup. Um, I don't have my clothes packed yet or my shoes or anything. I just don't, I don't know what to pack. I make lists upon lists and it just stays in a list. It never goes from the paper to the suitcase. So I usually just end up staying up all night packing, but I can never sleep anyways because I'm so excited about whatever I'm doing, so it's all good. I'll figure it out. Um, yes, I'm going to Chicago to visit some family. So I'm going to show you what I have in here because um, I've traveled quite a bit. I've been through the whole TSA rigmarole. And um, yeah, I wanted to show you what I thought was important to take on like a nine-day trip somewhere that you don't know exactly what you're going to be doing with your time. Yeah. Let's hop right into it. Pretty much, I just wanted to make a video and I didn't know what to make it about and I was traveling and this is what you get. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, excuse the not wearing glasses. I know people, some people, think that I look better with my glasses on. It's kind of giving me a little bit of a complex, I'm not going to lie. I get a little bit like nervous when I don't get to wear my glasses for one reason or another, like I've forgotten them or I have amazing glare rocking off of them. Um, but I'm I'm dealing with it, I'm breathing, trying to get used to it. So, not gonna wear the glasses right now because that's just gonna bother you. Um, okay, so I have my toiletries in a clear container. So the TSA the website says they have to be in a one quart Ziploc bag. Um, I have never had a TSA officer stop me and be like, ma'am, you can't bring your stuff on. Where's your Ziploc bag? Um, they usually do just fine as long as it's in something clear. Um, they also say you can only have one of them. I've taken more than one a couple of times. Um, and they never have a problem with it. So, I mean, don't push it because that's just annoying if someone, like, doesn't know how to get through the line fast enough and just bothers everybody behind them. But, like, you don't have to be super strict all the time. That's just what I've kind of learned. Like, keep your liquids to under three ounces, keep it to a smaller amount, keep it in a clear container they can see, and it'll be fine. Like, I've walked through with, like, lip gloss in my pocket, or, like, foundation in my makeup bag and not in my toiletry bag, and it hasn't been a problem. But then again, I have known people who have gone through like that and, like, had to throw the lip gloss away. So maybe it's just me. But I don't know. This is what I do. Because I'm making the video, so this is it's about me. Okay. Here's my stuff. Um, 
Let's start with, okay, so shampoo and conditioner goes in um, little three ounce containers. I got these at Target in a set, came with a couple of them. They have fancy little stickers on them, so you know what it is. That's shampoo, and this is conditioner. Because if you can't remember what your shampoo and conditioner looks like, um, yeah, I like to use my own shampoo and conditioner as opposed to like hotel shampoo and conditioner or something um, that I just like grab like a small sample of um, because they tend to be like cheaper, um, cheaper brands. I know like Pantene and Dove and that sort of thing. They have like little travel size containers, but I like to stick with what it is, especially since like I just have my hair colored and I need to know that it's color safe and blah, blah, blah. So I have that. And then I also got a little spray bottle with that too. Um, and that I just wrote on because I didn't have a sticker for heat protector. <laughs> I forgot what this was. For heat protector. I don't know why. You know heat protector. I need that. Um, I have some styling products. I have She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. I've never used this before. I will let you know what I think. Um, something that's something. My list is coming back. Something that has become an essential lately has been my dry shampoo. Um, I've been using Batiste, um, but this is the only like travel size one they had. It's the Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Spray Shampoo. So I hope it's good. Um, and then I also have a Purology Anti Fake Complex Per Volume, but I'm a liar because that's not what this is. This is actually um, some other volumizing product, but I had this little guy and I kept him because I knew I was going to travel someday and I would want it. So I kept it. See, hoarding is good. Great benefits. Um, and, and now I'm going to use it, so it's perfect. Yeah, I just emptied it out and put something new in there. So that is all for my hair. Um, when I travel, I like to stay just really kind of like basic. Um, I probably don't need the hairspray. I'm sure the relatives I'm staying with have hairspray, but I mean, I don't want to be there without hairspray. Like, it's the Windy Cindy, Windy City, right? I need, you know, lock and load. Um, okay, so that's hair. Face. I have my wash. So this is where I kind of, like, deviate from my routine. Just because all my bottles are so big and I don't want to empty them out into little containers because that's going to cost more money. Um, so these are all just different samples that I've received from working at Ulta. Um, you can usually get these like with gifts with purchases, um, little goodie bags, stuff like that. Um, so this is the Ulta Hydra Quench Foaming Oil Skin Care Cleanser thing. I've never used it. We're going to have a ton of reviews when I get back because I don't know what half the stuff does. Um, I have my eye cream. This is Eye Hope from Philosophy. I'm right saying that. Um, and then I have my Face Today moisturizer from Stila. I like this moisturizer a lot. Actually, I can give you a little mini review on this. It's awesome. That's it. That's the review you get. Um, toothpaste. I have, like, weird sensitive teeth. So I always make sure that I have, um, Sensodyne with me because some people don't get sensitive because it's really expensive so I bring my own because I have issues like that um okay body I've got my daily moisturizing body wash little sample guy I think I got this in a porch box or something um and then I use my body wash to shave um they have like little you know travel size shaving creams but they're really massive. Like, they're three ounces, but they're massive. Um, so I found that just using um, either your conditioner, but my conditioner is too expensive. It's not happening. Um, or a body wash works just as well. Um, that's just what I use at home, too, honestly. It gets a really nice shave. Um, I have a couple razors, um, just disposable ones, so I can toss them when I'm done. Um, little baby deodorant. Isn't it cute? I love minis. It's one of my favorite things about traveling is minis. And then a little container of the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hyperallergenic Facial Towelettes. Ten travel towelettes. Um, that's good because I can toss them when I'm done with them. So it all goes in a 
bagged by celebrity, I don't know where I got it. Probably Ulta or Target. Um, but again, it's clear and TSA likes that. So, that is what I got. Oh, my toothbrush. But it's missing because it's in the bathroom because brush teeth in the morning because flight attendants like you more and you have good smelling breaths. Just saying. Um, oh, and my hair straightener because you can curl and you can straighten it. So, that is my stuff. I hope you enjoyed. It's late. And I need to go pack. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.